What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to a brand new video. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to use the Black History Mode car that just dropped in the game yesterday and see how good they truly are and how to level them up to the truly go good cards. So, first things first, you have to unlock them. So how do you unlock them? You just have to do your Black History Mode solos. They're pretty easy, it should take you about like 30 minutes to knock them out. The, fir the first section that work done, you have to do about 6 solos, which are kind of annoying because some of them say you have to do spin moves, laterals, but everything else after that is just pretty simple solos. There's a couple of them that says you have to get hit sticks, which are kind of a bit annoying. But other than that, they're pretty simple challenges. You can knock them out probably like in 20 minutes, 15 minutes, maybe at, the, maybe at 20 minutes, I would say. And then after you unlock the cards, you're going to have to put them into your lineup. Once they're added into your lineup, that's when you can start leveling them up to the big boy pieces. Such as the Anquan, Anquan Bolden, who's very simple. Just add them in your lineup, and you just want to do some passing yards. So, now, once you get the cards, like I said, you need to add them into your lineup. So, for an example, I'm looking for this 88, this done card. I'm going to add him into my lineup, and all I need to do is get some rushing yards and a couple rushing touchdowns, and win about 10 games. Very simple challenge to level them up. Once they're fully leveled up, that's when we're talking about something else. But we'll talk about that in a, in a second right now. As you notice right now, this 88 version, nothing special about them, just there, just to unlock the big boy piece. Now, how do you unlock them? Like I was saying earlier, all you need to do is a couple challenges, very simple challenges with these cards in your lineup, and you'll be able to lock them out. Such as this work done, like I was saying, you just need rushing yards, a couple other cards, you need some sacks, the Uncle Ball, you need some crushing, you know, passing yards, blah, blah, blah. In general, just do these challenges. They're very simple. I would say just put them in your lineup, so you go to your solos, go to your solo battles, whatever the hell you're going to be doing, and you'll be able to get these cards maxed up. Once you have all five of these cards maxed up, max overall, you should be adding these cards to your team. You're probably saying, why do I want them? They don't fit my theme team. I don't care about these cards. You should care about these cards, because a lot of these cards are very juiced up. And I'm going to show you guys exactly who are the most juiced up cards and why you want them on your team. First off... Anquan Bolden. Anquan Bolden is one of the most broken receivers in the game that you literally get for free. And that work done is very broken as well. And I'm going to show you guys exactly here because it took me a couple couple minutes to get these cards unlocked. It took me about the Anquan Bolden and the work done probably took me about 5 minutes each card. 5 minutes each card. It did not take me that long. Now, this work done, once you get him maxed out, he's going to be able to get the ability Evase for 0 building points. Pretty good. And Short and Elite for 0. So, pretty good card. Now, here's the thing. If you have all five black um, history mode cards in your lineup, they get a plus one speed boost. And the thing is that every single five of these cards get every single theme team. So theoretically, every single card is going to get plus three speed if you're running a theme team that's not Legends. So that work done should have 99 speed, which is pretty crazy. Now this ain't Quan Bolden. This dude has short and elite for zero, which is the best receiver ability in the game. And he's going to have 98 speed. 98 speed for a receiver that's free? That's you cannot go. You cannot. Did you cannot say anything about this card? These cards are broken. Those are the only two cards I got really right now because the other one I just need to get some sacks and that's gonna take me some time. But other than that, in general, these are the most broken cards in the game that you guys can literally get for free to help build your squad. So all you guys have to do is go knock out a couple challenges and you guys will be able to get these cards. So hope you guys did enjoy the video. Make sure to hit the like button down below, subscribe as well, and let me know which of these five cards are you planning on getting on your squad. And I highly recommend. You get all five to get on your survive because they're really good. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.